What's up, everybody? I'm Lockouts, and in this video, I'm about to show you how to be an ultimate burst machine monster with Havoc Demon Hunter, Mythic Plus, pushing keys. Check this out. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts, providing the content that you see. I'm bitching to stimulate your mind, one minute at a time. All right, everybody, jumping right into this. I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as I possibly can. Timestamps are going to be down below in the video, so go ahead and feel free to jump around and click on whatever it is or whatever part of the video that it is that you need that you came here for. Uh, getting into the talents right now for your 99, these are all going to be pretty much go-to talents, guys. You're really not going to change this up too much. Uh, you're you're kind of limited with Demon Hunter for the uh, kind of build that you can run right now. There's really only a couple of ways you could do it. But this right here is going to be your go-to. This is going to be the best way that you could run it. If you go ahead and look at the uh, charts for any other Demon Hunters that are pushing keys, 99.9% .9 of them all have the exact same talents and traits that I run. And they all pair and sim nicely with your AZ talents and traits that are going to go either in your head, shoulder, or your chest. We'll get in your, uh, uh, into the AZ talents and traits right after we do the talents here. Uh, for your 99 talent, your go-to is going to be Demonic Appetite. Uh, Chaos Strike has a chance to spawn a lesser soul fragment, and consuming any soul fragment grants 30 fury. This is, again, going to pair great with uh, uh, your AZ talent and trait that either goes in your head, shoulder, or your chest. Uh, your go-to for level 100 is going to be Immolation Aura. Engulf yourself in flames, instantly causing 4,206 for, uh, fire damage to enemies within 8 yards and radiating 1,570 fire damage every second, and it lasts for 10 seconds. Your go-to for 102 is going to be Trail of Ruin. The final slash of Blade Dance inflicts an additional 12,752 chaos damage over 4 seconds. This is going to pair nicely with the AZ Talent and Trait that goes in your head, shoulder, and chest. It's not necessarily the best, but it does pair nicely with a talent that's in your head, shoulder, and chest. And we'll go over that again right after we finish that. Uh, for 104, uh, your go-to is going to be Soul Rending. There's really uh, uh, no really, really reason to be going over these other talents and traits because, again, these are all go-tos. This is the limited build that you really can run Demon Hunter right now. 104, Soul Rending. Your leech is increased by 10%, and whenever you meta, you gain an additional 10% leech when Metamorphosis is active. And for the whole time that you are in meta, you'll have 20% bonus healing then, and it's... So basically, the more damage that you, you're doing while you're in Metamorphosis, the more you heal. That's kind of the trick and the niche with Demon Hunter is to always try to be bursting and all the time try to stay in Metamorphosis as much as you can so you gain that leech benefit and you're healing your ass off. I heal for 50, 60, 70k sometimes in Havoc and I'm just like, holy shit, how am I living still? It's kind of insane. Uh, for 106... Uh, first Blood, this is re going to reduce the Fury cost of Blade Dance by 20 and increases the damage that you do by 24,136 against the first target that you strike for your Blade Dance, guys. So this is going to pair nicely with your Trail of Ruin and an AZ Talent or Trade again that goes in your head, shoulder, or your chest. Uh, for 108, uh, Fell Eruption, this impales the target for 7,000 Chaos damage and it stuns him for 4 seconds. This gives you a range off stun, and it's just kind of a filler. If uh, stuff is on cooldown and your rotation's not working right, or you just are, yeah, for whatever reason, you need to stun an add, or whatever is going on that's in Mythic Plus in that dungeon, whatever the hell is going on, this, this is going to help you, and it's going to be either, a, like I said, a, a rotation filler for a very few times that you're going to use this as a rotation filler, for the most part, though, it's going to be a ranged off stun for an ad that's somewhere he because you don't have a kick or there's not a kick that's up in your group. You could, if you're able to stun that ad, this will stun that ad and interrupt whatever hellcast that he's doing or whatever that's going on for the reason that you need to stun that ad. So you're running fell eruption, uh, and and then your 110 talent, you guys, your go-to for 110 is going to be demonic. Uh, demonic it, every time that you i beam it causes you to, to enter demonic uh to metamorphosis ba basically for eight seconds and um this is going to pair nicely with uh an az talent that goes in your head shoulder or chest and we're going to jump into that right now all right so getting into your uh head shoulder and your chest there is one talent that you must have and it does not matter whether it's in your head shoulder or your chest but there's one that you have to have for Demon Hunter to actually work right. And that's no matter whether it's in PvP or in PvE, all right? All right, so that one talent and trait that you guys are gonna wanna have that's either in your head, shoulder, or chest. Again, it doesn't matter which, which piece of gear that it is, and but you only need one of these, so don't stack more than one, you only want one. And Chaotic Transformation, 
Demon's Bite deals 1,531 additional damage whenever you activate Metamorphosis. The cooldown of I-Beam and Blade Dance is immediately reset. So basically, you're going to I-Beam, you're going to Blade Dance, you're going to Metamorphosis, you're going to Blade Dance, you're going to I-Beam again, and then you're going to Blade Dance again because by then, the way that the haste rotations and everything work, it, it, your Blade Dance dot should be able to be ticked off by then, hopefully, and you should be able to, to get three different Blade Dances off within two, uh, uh, the three your two metamorphic your, or your two eye beams um, excuse me so you basically want three blade dances within your two eye beams and that'll get you because uh, every time that you eye beam you're going to get a haste benefit that is going to be coming off of your head shoulder your chest and that's going to be eyes of rage and furious gaze guys furious gaze is going to be one of the talents and traits that you're going to definitely want to stack at least three of if you can't get three of these try to at least get two of these um whenever your eye beam fully finishes channeling uh, you get a haste benefit of 1161. So if you stack this three times, it'll be 1161 times three for 12 seconds, and you'll get an insane amount of haste. So if you I beam, blade dance, metamorphosis, I beam again, you'll then get another haste benefit from the uh, haste benefit that you have previously from the still engaged furious gaze that never expired because it, it lasts for 12 seconds. So as long as you I-beam again within that 12 second window, you'll get another fully stacked haste benefit that's on top of that. And you'll get insane amounts, 250, 350% haste. It's it's crazy if you could triple stack Furious Gaze. Uh, another thing that you guys want, uh, guys, is going to be Eyes of Rage. I-beam deals an additional 2920 damage. Consuming a soul fragment reduces the cooldown of I-beam by 0.7. So this will make your I-beam hit a little bit harder. And every time that you consume a soul fragment, whether or not it's from Chaos Strike, because every time that you use Chaos Strike, you have a chance to break off a soul fragment. When you break off a soul fragment and you consume it, you'll get more uh, Fury, which basically lets you get two Chaos Strikes for the cost of one from using this talent and trait. It also will cool down your I beam every time that you consume a soul fragment, and consuming a soul fragment. Grant you 30 Fury, and every time that you consume a Soul Fragment, it'll reduce the cooldown of your Eye Beam from running Eyes of Rage and then Furious Gaze. Another thing that you want for your Inner Rings, guys, is going to be Overwhelming Power. Whatever it is that you have for the, for the last one right here, uh, again, that's going to be Preference and whatever's on the gear because these are kind of just minor defensive traits, and, and we're talking about Mythic Plus here. But Vampiric Seed, if you want to run that, or Gem, Gem Hide, or Bulwark of the Masses, whatever that is, that's great for you. So again, you want to stack one chaotic transformation, either in your head, shoulder, or your chest. You want to have at least two or three furious gazes. You want to have at least two, uh, don't stack more than two, but at least two eyes of rages. So you want one chaotic transformation, two eyes of rage, um, three furious gazes, as many overwhelming powers that's on the gears that you can right. get. And another thing that you guys want, uh, if you're not able to get this, uh, if you're not able to get all of these things and stacked up on your gear, something that you want though to aim for that we were talking about when we were making, uh, when I was telling you what the best talent and traits is, is gonna be Revolving Blades. Blade Dance deals an additional 2,656 uh, damage or 52 damage and the cost of your next blade dance is reduced by three fury and each enemy struck by the final slash of your blade dance reduces its fury cost by three so if you got 10 enemies there and you you, you know, crack off a blade dance it'll be redu reduced by 30 so you're you're it's basically free hit a little bit harder with your first blood and your, then your trail of ruin so basically this right here makes your trail of ruin and your first blood work a little bit harder or, or synergize a little bit better together work a little bit harder and then it becomes free so that you're able to use chaos strike more using chaos strike breaks off soul shards consuming soul shards pulls down your eye beam every time that you kill an ad you have a chance to spawn a lesser soul fragment so that's going to cool down your eye beam so picture if you have 10 or 15 ads right there and you're able to kill them really fast you'll have all kinds of shards there from using your chaos strike your eye beam killing them ads and then consuming them them uh soul shards you can almost I beam back to back to back, dude. If you run this right and you you play Demon Hunter enough and you get fluent enough with it, you can have I beams and be metamorphosis in a dungeon. I'm only probably out of metamorphosis in a dungeon, man. Like literally, maybe 15% of the time, and and that's just trying to get you know <laughs> enough soul fragments to hurry up and cool down I beam again. And it, it's probably more like like 90s. I'm up. I'm probably in the metamorphosis up at the 90s of the percent of the, of the time by running um, uh, Triple Furious Gaze and, and uh, 
double eyes of rage and man is it is it really 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 strong just running uh eyes of rage and and the furious gaze because you're killing ads and you're pushing content and you're running so hard and so fast that you're either soul fragments all over the place and if you get good enough with it you could start getting your soul fragments out and you could see where they are and you could start being able to you know run over here and pick these ones up and move over here and pick these ones up in between all your chaos strikes so you're just continuously using chaos strikes so hopefully within a channel of a full eye beam cast you you know you're just you're able to just start spamming chaos strike five six seven eight times before you got to start using demons bite to build fury again and that's kind of the whole whole niche with this is uh, how fast can i get my eye beam to cool down so that i can get back into metamorphosis every time that you use your eye beam you get in a metamorphosis and then when you're ready to to actually burst into a target you want to eye beam so that you get into meta they stay in the meta for you know within that 12 second window and then met fully use your metamorphosis actually again that way that you get that big channel of haste that's stacked right up on top of each other now you could i beam blade dance metamorphosis blade dance i beam again and now you're in full burst and you have your dots ticking uh, from your blade dance as fast as it possibly can and then you're spamming chaos strike and that is a, a hell of an opener right there now you won't be in metamorphosis as long because you've stacked it real fast but man you will get you know like a 35 second metamorphosis which i believe is about the max time for meta and you say you get a 35 second meta out of that and that double furious gaze stack whoo boy you'll be pulling off some dps so I'll, I'll go ahead and crack into this target right here and running this build so we're here what we're gonna do is i beam we're gonna blade dance we're gonna metamorphosis we're gonna blade dance again we're gonna i beam again and now we're just into full chaos strike mode and we still have furious gaze kicked in so we could now go ahead and then pop off our um focused as a right beam and that's going to bring us right into our targeted corruption gear and we're going to get into that right now all right guys uh jumping right into this for corruption gear i'm going to try to make this uh, again as short as i possibly can um for mythic plus it's really really simple what you want to stack is twilight devastation it doesn't matter what week it is it doesn't matter what's going on you're pushing content you're pushing keys twilight devastation that's going to be what you want to stack um on top of versatility and also tentacle is really good too you don't want to do anything with stars stay away from stars if you're if you're pushing content and you're building your demon hunter for mythic plus only you want to you want to be running twilight devastation uh the way that i run my guy right now is i run uh, a rank one twilight devastation on my main weapon i run a rank one twilight devastation that's on my bracers i run an oozing blood that's on my gloves and oozing blood that's on my uh belt i run a tentacle that is on my uh pants i run a versatility proc that is on my um boots and then i run another tentacle that is on one of my rings and the reason that i'm running this like this is because when i use simulation craft and i sing my guy for single target or for multi-target this is the best that i could get that's out of out of my guy that is kind of like an all balanced build so as you're going through the dungeon you're able to crack off some or so, yeah so as you're going through the dungeon you're able to crack off some twilight devastations it's on the ads and drop some nukes for huge amounts of of dps and if you can get two or three D, uh, twilight devastations to crack off man you're you're doing some fucking dps excuse my language but yeah you're definitely pushing some deep sitter out there and then when you're on the boss single target you have your oozing bloods and your tentacles that are procking that's on that on that boss so that you're picking up a little bit so this is kind of a balanced build that i run now if you want to run full cleave you can run get rid of all of this stuff and just run like haste procs are good for you and also twilight devastation so run like a rank three and a rank two twilight devastation and uh uh, also that's going to push us into our cloak then now the more uh corruption you resi uh, resistance that you have that's on your cloak right now as of uh july 3rd 2020 at 4 30 in the morning uh, as i'm recording this and then we're gonna have to edit it so lordy lordy it's gonna be a long night so um on your cloak you can have a max cloak resistance up to 95 i have 92 that's on my guy right now but you can have up to 95 and it will continue to stack up to a max of, I believe 125 is gonna be the max corruption resistance. Now it's gonna go up by three each week. 
So the higher that your corruption resistance is, it's on your cloak, it's gonna be the more corruption that you're gonna be able to have that's on your guy. If you could see here, right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces that have corruption on them, okay? And this, with all this corruption, I have base corruption of 145, I have 102 corruption resistance, and my total corruption is 43. So this is a perfect balance build for me to do, you know, just drop nuclear bombs that are within ads and also have, you know, some good single target stuff. So when we're on the on the boss and everything like that, I'm I'm have the oozing bloods and our tentacles are procking off. And Twilight Devastations are cracking off on the boss for, you know, 150, 200 Ks. And yeah, it, it, everything is just, it, it's a really good build. I like having everything like this. So, you know, uh, having oozing bloods is still, it's still going to be really strong single target tentacle is going to be really strong single target but again there's not too many boss fights even even like solo bosses like there's ads all the time all around and there's so much that's going on you definitely want to be cracking off at least multi-target sims so when you guys are using simulation craft if you don't know what simulation craft is guys it's an add-on i'll just type in sim c right now simulation craft it's an add-on it looks like it gives you a little box it's like this it gives you all this information that's in here you're going to highlight it when you highlight it you're going to hit control c you're going to then go to raidbots.io which is a website you go to raidbots.io you'll take all that simulation craft uh, add-on information right here you copy it paste it into the simulation box there and you can do that weights for talents traits anything like that now mind you uh you have to be a member to do um or a patron to uh, sim multi-targets or you know go and search the internet and scour the internet so that you can actually you know edit some type of uh css code i think is what it is it goes into the boxes that are down there so if you know you do you're good at coding or you're good at like you know figuring out how to uh insert your guy's character into other people's css codes and you know, you could scour the internet on raidbots.io and, you know, sim your guy for like three and four and five target fights. And you can see what is best for you on your guy at that time. Because as you can see right here, I have a lot of gear and I have a lot more that's that's within my bank too. So this is just, you know, BFA and the RNG. Even though I could be a lot higher of an item level, I have to deal with, you know, getting 19 pairs of boots and 14 boot, uh, pairs of bracers and nine helmets and... 32 trinkets that are worse than the one that is you know it's just this is rng there is no real way to you know unless you push one dungeon specifically over and over and over and over again and get that rng number for the piece that you want now it's also going to have to be the piece that you want with the specs that you want that's on that piece and on that piece is also going to hopefully have a socket and also it's going to hopefully have the targeted corruption that you're going for now that's a lot of RNG just for one piece that's in one dungeon. So now, you know, you can go to mother and you could buy targeted corruption. And again, that's why I'm telling you, if you're stacking your guy up for only mythic plus, Twilight Devastation is gonna be super awesome. Uh, again, single target, if you're trying to only build your guy up for single target, oozing blood, uh, stacking, if you could stack oozing blood nine times, dude, it's probably gonna just be op more OP than everything else overall because of just the natural damage and the way that everything works and how quick uh, all the ads die and everything. But again, I'm gonna tell you, if you can, if you can sustain a rank three and a rank two, uh, that is gonna be your best. Now, if you can, uh, if you don't have a lot of corruption resistance that's on your guy, you're gonna wanna stay under 40, that way you're not procking off things from beyond. If you're like 465 item level or better, dude, um, you know, you have your cover of darkness, you have your leech from your metamorphosis, you have, you know, your blur and you're able to stun and do all kinds of stuff. So you can go up to 59 corruption and that's perfectly fine as long as you know that you, you should be packing some pots with you. So if you do get cracked off by a couple things from beyond, you can go ahead and help your healer out so he's not freaking out going, where the hell is this damage coming from from this dude? And, you know, try to stay out of your rings and all that stuff. So if you're worried about cracking off things from beyond and you're above 40 uh, corruption resistance, no big deal. You have the most mobile class that's in the game. You can kite a thing from beyond. You can stun it. They, they're slow. Even at 59 corruption, like right now I'm running at 43. So uh, again, it's going to be, you know, the higher you can get your cloak, the lower that your corruption is going to be overall. But 59 is going to be completely fine, even even if you're raiding. Now, PvP, that's a completely different story. You don't want to have, have even a ring proc up because 
that's that's terrible for you but we're not talking about neither that that's neither here nor there so right now we've went over talents az traits uh everything except for best in slot for gear uh now for mythic plus um unfortunately if you want best in slot weapons you're gonna have to go and kill ray den and you're gonna want the ungarant caress this is gonna be your best in slot um now if you can get two of these it's gonna be 50 corruption that you're gonna have on you so you can have you know two rank two twilight devastations or a rank three a rank one twilight devastation and then have both of these uh ungant 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 Ungent. Caress. I guess that's how you say it. But if you read what this does, what these weapons do, your attacks have a chance to lash your target with a living tentacle, dealing 24,155 24, shadow damage, and then snares them by 30% for 60 seconds. So if you have two of these and they both proc off on top of a Twilight Devastation, uh, you have double slappers, dude. It's just crazy. You have the weapon damage plus this. Like, this is your busted slot. This is your go-to. So even if you're raiding, it doesn't matter. PvP, it, any part of the game right now, this is the best in slot weapon that's for you, okay? It's going to be Ungent Caress. And he's going to drop from Raid End. So, you know, push him. Try to get him. Try to get the mythic ones, the heroic ones, whatever it is. Whenever you kill Raid End, so save your tokens every week to try to go in there and roll on him, okay? Uh, that's going to be your best in slot weapons. I've been trying for weeks and I can't get them to drop. I see people that run around with two of them and I'm hella jealous all the time. I have all kinds of other weapons, but I I, I have blades and 460s and 455s and all kinds of other stuff. But I can't get that one to drop for some reason. I went in there today and was uh, I killed them on normal mode, rolled on normal mode. And then I went in there on Heroic, and we downed them, and on Heroic, I, I ended up getting this Mushun Blade uh, from Raytheon, and I was like, dude, I got that from Raytheon? I'm for sure not going to get this from Raid End. So, when, of course, you know, we went in there and rolled on it again. And All right, so the next thing that we're going to do, guys, is go over your neck, the neck piece, the, the old neck ski, the neck scaroni, the neck, and your neck. What you guys want to be running in Mythic Plus is going to be essence of the focusing iris now this is going to work off of the az talent and trait that's going to be from your furious gaze it's in your head shoulder and your chest if you stack three furious gazes and then um you proc off a, a focusing iris the, the the channel cast time is going to be shortened from the huge amount of haste benefit that you're going to get from your eyes of rage or, or i mean your furious gaze so uh, what I like to run is Vision of Perfection. It reduces the cooldown of your meta by 25%, basically knocks a minute off your cooldown, increases your verse by 112. And whenever you activate meta, you get 5% of your maximum health as a quick little, little heal off. Uh, for minor, again, I like to run Breath of the Dying. This is your go-to. You should have Breath of the Dying. If you have rank three, leave it in there. This is where it is. This is great. You could even run this as, as your major Breath of the Dying and it'll work into your rotation differently because you're all the time going to be cracking off ads that are above 80% and below 20%. So below 20% Breath of the Dying X is an execute. So if you have ads right there and you kill them over and over again, you can just, you know, pop off a bunch of Breath of the Dyings and not even cast anything else. Just pow, 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 pow. And if you're able to do that, if you're able, you know, to tab target or get get, or get on that target that is that low and actually kill each one of them, it'll be an instant cast time. And then the next time you use it, uh, the crit damage is increased by 400%. So what I just do is I run it as a miner because focusing iris is OP. It hits everything uh, until, you know, they nerf everything. I'm sure this is going to get nerfed again. It's already been nerfed. They're going to probably friggin nerf it again. So Crucible of Flame, that's what I like to run that's in there. If you have rank three condensed life force, that's gonna be great for you. Memory of the Lucid, Lucid Dreams, that's also a good one. So condensed life life force, if you have rank three of this. Memory of Lucid Dreams, if you have rank three of this one, this is gonna be good to, to replace Crucible of Flame. Crucible of Flame just puts a dot on them. Uh, Breath of the Dying cracks off um, fire damage and shoots a little Azerite spike at them. And then your vision, vision of perfection uh, reduces the cooldown, knocks a minute off of your metamorphosis. You get a, a 112 verse, and then you heal for 5% every time that you use uh, your metamorphosis from running vision of perfection in your miner. Again, I'm running uh, uh, Essence of the Focusing Iris. This is my go-to. I don't ever really change this one out for anything. And I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like from the uh, channel cast time. 
So we're gonna blade dance into a metamorphosis right here, into another blade dance, into an eye beam, into a focusing iris, and you can see the huge cast time, or the, the how small the cast time was that was right there for cracking that off. Now that's all single target right there, guys, and you know, we can go way over 100K single target and sit there and hold it and sustain it. And that's gonna be at 473 item level running this. I could run up to a, a 478 item level, but I, that's not going to be my best because of the corruption that I have that's on the gear, right? And you have to run echoes, farm echoes for that targeted stuff so that you could, you know, uh, put that targeted corruption on your higher item level gear so that you get a better result out of stuff. And I'm still working on that. And it's just, you know, RNG. You can't actually target that piece of gear specifically and, you know, have enough echoes at that time during that reset of time that you want to, you know, it's a pain in the ass to have to save up stuff forever and ever and ever. And and pray all the time that it, something drops for you. But that's the way that WoW is in BFA. So hopefully uh, uh, this uh, this is uh, summed up or made uh, your, your, your talents, traits, your AZ talents, your traits, your targeted corruption, uh, best in slot weapons, you know, everything that you could go to right there that, that is gonna be the best for your guy. Uh, this is again if you go and you look at any demon hunter that's on the world of warcraft mythic plus and they're you know in the top 10 uh or even in the top 50 any de demon hunter on any server that's in the top 50 north america or europe or or latin america wherever it is that you look um we're all running the same thing because there's only a few ways that you could run demon hunter right now it's got a very limited build that you could go to right now and this is only for mythic plus things change up only slightly for pvp and for for rating so uh, uh I, that, that's just the way that it is there's no way to like really run a whole bunch of different other things for your guy unfortunately now you know as things get nerfed and as things get buffed things get stronger and things get weaker and that's just something that you know i try to keep you guys posted up to and up to date with we do this multiple times a week you know, we, we post kinds all kinds of updates for Demon Hunter, uh, for, for Death Knight. I'm going to start push, uh, pushing other classes to uh, 120, or not 120, to uh, a higher item level and get them in preparation for Shadowlands. Like, uh, I've had a lot of requests for Feral Druid, I've had a lot of requests for Priest, and I've had a lot of requests for Shami. So those are going to be the, some of the three classes that I'm going to be working on. If you guys have any requests or you guys have any videos that you want to see that's like this for any other classes, leave your comments below. If you guys have any comments or concerns or anything that's going to be helpful for somebody else, leave that in the comments below. If you guys know like uh, something that I, I forgot to mention that's, in, that's not in this video, leave it in a comment below. Help the next fella out these videos are all about helping a fella it's not about knocking the next guy because he runs something a little bit differently than somebody else this is the best for my guy for the way that i play i like to be extremely mobile i like to be up in all the ads faces i like to be pushing dps as hard as i can for as long as i can trying to stay in burst and in, met in metamorphosis as much as i possibly can so it's um uh, hopefully this has helped a lot of you guys out because now we have covered our talents our AZ traits, our best in slot heart talents, our targeted corruption, and the best in slot weapons where you guys could be aiming for, for your guys. All right, guys, and jumping into this video that you just seen that popped up on your video right here, uh, Mythic Plus Timer is a must have. It tells you the deaths that are in your group, uh, how, you, how much time is left to plus two or plus three the key. So when you're pushing keys and pushing content, you can see how much time is left so you can, you know, push your buttons harder and do more dps <laughs> so again this is going to be a must-have add-on if you guys are, are pushing content it, it tells you uh how many deaths that are in the group keeps track of all that good stuff for you and it, it definitely keeps track of uh what key that you're actually running where you're running the key at and how much time is left for you to be able to plus two or plus three that key so that you're able to push that content and jumping into the next add-on that i like to have uh, is gonna be Mythic Dungeon Tools. And it looks like this. And this is an add-on that's created from like Method. And it tells you every single add-on that's in, in uh, uh, BFA or every single dungeon that is in BFA. And you can zoom into it. It'll tell you every single pack of ads. So you can go ahead and make you, uh, you know, like you're gonna run in in a plus 10 and you're gonna start at that, let's say like this, um, 
this this blisk right here and you're going to want to go from this blisk and pull that blisk to back here or you're going to take that blisk to wherever it is you can go ahead and, and select as many add-ons as ads as you want and, into different pools and it'll tell you when you get to 100 percent so you could select specific ads for specific pools and go into different directions for the dungeon so that you could see exactly how it is that you guys are going to be running the dungeon and then everybody that has this add-on when you get into the group with them you go ahead and just share this this information with them and they're able to look at it real quick or whenever they get to a certain part they can just go oh, okay we're pushing this way we're going this way and he'll know you'll know exactly where it is for the path that you have set and it'll help you uh actually uh get a better understanding of how to push each single dungeon and where each single pack of ads is for you to be able to 100% the ads no matter what dungeon it is for how you're running the dungeon and how you have it pulled. It takes you a little bit of time to go ahead and set up your own paths and you know when you get into every single dungeon and you get into every group or a pug group or whatever group that it is that you normally run with share this with them and they can see uh, what path it is that you are pushing for um, that dungeon. And the next thing that you guys are going to want to get is going to be DBM. And DBM is Deadly Boss Mods. Deadly Boss Mods looks like this. And it has every single boss for every single raid, every single dungeon, anything that has to do with BFA or earlier content. You can get add-on extensions for DBM for earlier content that predates BFA. But there's really no need for me to have it. Uh, what what DBM does, it tells you to not stand in stuff. It tells you when bosses are doing stuff. It has cooldown events and timers that'll pop up on your screen. You're able to move them all around. Bernai Lotha, you know, the Eternal Place, Battle of da Dazzlar, whatever is going on for Shadowlands and different dungeons. You can load the add-on and do all kinds of different things that are within this and set up all kinds of other stuff for DBM and it's just a must-have add-on it, it it's it's an amazing add-on definitely get deadly boss mods or db and the last one um that you guys are going to want to have that is absolutely a must-have is going to be fis or focus interrupt sounds okay and it looks like this right here it's called fis for short focus interrupt sounds for long when you're trying to find the add-on now what this does is Whenever you have an ad focused or an ad that you are just normally targeting, if it casts something and it's a kickable spell, it'll just play an audible doot 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 and you'll get to used to hearing that spell and it'll just go naturally for you to want to go ahead and kick that spell. Now you're going to make sure that it, you're going to want to make sure that it's either in A, your kick rotation that's on your team. So if you're first, second or third, be, you know, you can hear the audible doot doot doot. That's one, doot doot doot, that's two. Do 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 three. It's my turn to kick. Now I can kick. FIS will help you with that, so you don't even have to necessarily pay attention to the cast bar if it's just your third time to kick on that cast. And you know that every time that 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 ad is going to cast, and it's your turn for that kick rotation, FIS will just go do do do, and you'll kick. Now this also works in PvP and other things like that, but we're not talking about that. This is just dungeon tools fis is just an add-on it's it's a must-have for me it plays an audible kick sound for for you to be able to kick that spell and whether or not it's your uh a focus target or the target that you are targeting and an optional add-on guys um all right and now finishing this off guys this has been an extremely long video and this is just for mythic plus now there's going to be uh, videos that's going to be coming up that's after this it's going to be uh, for strictly for PvP builds for arena and dungeons or uh, for arenas and battlegrounds and raided battlegrounds uh, And then I'm gonna drop one that's gonna be specifically for rating So there's gonna be two more videos that's gonna come out Then these are gonna probably be some of the last ones that we're gonna do for havoc until Right before either Shadowlands or when Shadowlands comes out because Shadowlands isn't too much further away now Hopefully. All right. So if this has helped uh, any of you guys out, you know, help a fellow out like me, definitely click all the little buttons down there, you know, right there. They're right there. That one, that one, that one, that one. Like, follow, subscribe. I'm Lockhouse. Peace. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm bitching to stimulating your mind one minute at a time.